Hey, how's it going guys? Neolytic here. If you recently updated your NVIDIA graphics driver and you're a Windows user and you use Adobe Premiere Pro uh, to edit your videos, you might experience a glitch like me because that's what I did recently. I updated my NVIDIA graphics card drivers and after updating it, I have this glitch on Adobe Premiere Pro which has some dead pixels, white dead pixels. Uh, actually, there's a lot of crazy pixels, dead pixels, glitches on top of all my videos. Uh, so this glitch is specifically because of limitry color. Anything I do with limitry color, like uh, change contrast or anything like that, add LUTs or whatsoever, uh, it shows this white glitch on top of all my videos. So if you click on this video, maybe you're wondering how to fix it. So I'll show you guys that in a bit. But if you don't have time to listen to me blabbering and all that stuff, um, maybe you know how to do it yourself. It's pretty simple. You just need to uninstall the NVIDIA graphics driver and reinstall um, the NVIDIA graphics driver uh, to an older version, not the newest one that came out. So yeah, if you if you want to stick around, I'll show you guys how to do it. Let's go. Alright guys, as you can see right here, there's the white pixels, dead pixels on top of my videos. So there is a first aid to this. What you just need to do is go to File, Project Settings, General, um, and go to video rendering and playback. Switch the Mercury playback engine GPU acceleration, which is also known as the CUDA, and replace it with the Mercury playback engine software only. As you can see right here, it's gonna be loading real quick. And the issue is done. That's the first aid for it. But of course, you want to use the CUDA, right? Because you that's the reason you have a graphics card to accelerate um, you know, the rendering and all that stuff. All right, so the first step on fixing the actual issue is going to this website right here, uh, nvidia.com slash download slash find. Uh, I'll put the link in the description as well. Search for the product type, pretty much with your graphics card. So I have a, I have a GTX 980 Ti, so that's why I put it in there. Uh, Windows 10 64-bit. And as you can see, all the old drivers are here as well. So the latest one as of now, it's June 29 right now. As of now, the the earliest or the newest release was last June 24, 2020. And that's the software that I have currently that's giving me this issue. So what I'm gonna have to do is download the older one, one step before that. So I'm just gonna download this uh, older one. Once you finish the download, go ahead and go to your search bar type in and install just go to the add or remove program system settings type in nvidia nvidia and look for the nvidia graphics driver which is this one what i have right now for 51.48 go ahead and, and install that uh, you need to restart the computer after uninstalling the driver all right, so after the computer boots up again, go ahead and go back to the folder where you downloaded the older driver. Double click it and it's going to take a little while before the installer starts. We're here on this step where you are going to check which do you want to install. You want to go ahead and just download the or install the NVIDIA graphics driver instead of installing the NVIDIA graphics driver and GeForce experience because uh, what it's gonna do is let me just show you real quick that you still have the GE Force experience right there but um, once it's install installing the NVIDIA graphics driver it's also gonna uninstall the GE Force experience so if you want GE Force experience we're just gonna reinstall that later on okay so now go ahead and click agree and continue choose express and it's gonna start installing the older driver. Once it's finished, 
uh, if you want to reinstall GE Force Experience. In my case, I do want to install it because I update my drivers there and also makes uh, my games optimal. And I use the recorder for that as well. So just let me, let me show you guys something real quick though. So like I was saying earlier, if you go and look at the programs, add or remove programs, NVIDIA, GE Force Experience is not here anymore. When we installed the graphics driver, it, it uninstalled GE Force Experience. So now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall that. You just need to go to this website. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link on the description down below as well. Go ahead and download GE Force Experience. Once you finish downloading, go ahead and double click for it to start the install for GE Force Experience. So after installing it, as you can see right here, I'm gonna go ahead and log into my account real quick. Just to show you guys that um, downloading GE Force Experience is not really gonna update the driver that we have currently. You need to manually do it. Okay, so as you can see right here, um, on, on the top, it says GE Force Game Ready Driver. It's ready to be downloaded and installed, but that's the one that's giving us issues, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. On the bottom right here, this is the current driver version we have, which is an older version, just to double check. All right, so we're on our final step. After installing GE Force Experience and uh, older drivers, it's better to restart the computer to of course refresh everything right so as you can see right here i opened adobe premiere already and i'm gonna load my pro my recent project to see if it fixed the issue uh it took a while actually it was lagging a bit so it even gave me a gray um video preview on there but i'm kind of impatient that's why i'm doing this so what i went ahead i went ahead and restart the computer again and as i open it again the adobe premiere it showed me this one uh still loading but this one it loaded faster and yeah there you go as you can see it's uh the issue is gone it went back to normal Can see i'm adjusting all the limitry color here as well making sure that the glitch wouldn't happen again i uh, went back to settings again project settings in general I'm go, uh, switching from cuda to software only uh, it's working no issues and then went back to cuda again As you can see right here everything is working well back to normal i can edit videos again Alright guys, so hopefully that tutorial helped you fix the issue that you're having with uh, your Adobe Premiere Pro after updating uh, to the latest or the newest uh, NVIDIA graphics driver. Uh, if you like this video and you find it helpful, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more maybe tutorials like this or you know my travel if you want to follow me with my vlogs and my travel go ahead and consider subscribing that's gonna be it for this video guys thank you for watching and you will see me on the next one yeah buddy